Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jealous, and we're back on Pokemon Showdown today for another live in the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon OU tier. We're going to be trying to make up for the uh, pretty big point loss that happened yesterday with the Aurora Rail team. So today we're using this Ground Z Heatran team, which is basically, uh, the Ground Z is pretty much just a lure Toxapex that can help out our uh, Greninja on the back. It specs Ash Grin can pretty much clean if Spadef Toxapex is out of the way, so that really helps out. And then uh, that also helps out uh, Mawile. Obviously Mawile can SD up and break through it, but you don't want to take her EQs or Scald Burns or anything like that. So, uh, I'm thinking of Gastrodon. <laughs> uh, you don't want to take Scald Burns, pretty much. But uh, yeah, plus two Thunder Punch can blow that thing back too. But pretty much the, uh, the trick is just get rid of all the mons that counter Gren and then just click Hydro Pump a few times and you should be good to go. Other than that, we have Metronome Lele, which is really cool because you get to click Psychic over and over again and it just boosts in power every time. Scarf Landorus, which is another nice win con. SD Mawile, this is originally Focus Punch, but I decided to change the set because Focus Punch isn't working out. And then Assault Vest or Generator Tangrowth with Sludge Bomb for Tapu Bulu, I believe. So let's go ahead and find a match as usual. If you guys are new, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It'll really help out. And uh, I'm trying to go for four digits by the end of 2018. I know it's still 2017, but we had our 2017 goal recently, which was 400 subscribers. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it to our 2018 goal anytime, but let's go ahead and decide on a lead here. Does this team have a rocker? I don't think it does. Uh, we have the Rocks Tran. No pecs, which is great. My Greninja actually looks really threatening in this match to him. Unfortunately, he has Mega Manectric, which uh, I won't outspeed with my Greninja even after I get Battle Bond off, so I have to uh, knock that thing out with my Landers. So I'm going to lead off with my Landers right here as he decides to do the same. Pretty much I was trying to lure the Manectric lead, but Let's go ahead and go right for the U-turn right here. We can U-turn out of there and then probably bring in our... He could have be, he could be Super Sonic Sky Strike, I guess, but I think Double Intimidate is a pretty safe bet right now. So he goes right for the HP Heist, and now what we can do is go into our Assault Vest Tangrowth. We can take anything at my, since he is minus 2 right now. Go for U-turn, doesn't do a lot. We'll probably bring in his Magirna or his Terran Char right now. Uh, I don't believe we had Earthquake on this Tangrowth, which kind of sucks because it would be nice for the Tyranitar right now, but Tyranitar cannot set up. In fact, if Tyranitar comes out, I'm going to go Hard Landorus. I'm not expecting the Ice Punch or the Ice Beam, despite the fact that I have a Grass-type out, since I think he would want to set up and try to go for game. He goes for he goes Manic Turk, though, which is weird because I 1v1 this. I'm going to go for Giga Drain. Unless he's trying to... Uh, I'm going to go for Knock first, just in case he's going to try to Volt Switch out. He should know that I'm Assault Fest based on the U-turn damage at minus 2. So I'm really expecting a Volt Switch right here. Maybe he's trying to bait me to go for the Giga Drain? I mean, I, I think knockoff's safe, because even if he flamethrowers me, I can uh, switch out after. So he does go for the flamethrower, that won't knock me out, I won't even do it KO. He can go for the knockoff, doesn't do a lot at all because of the Intimidate. And now here I'll go into uh, Heatran. Isn't the most important one in this game, it is nice for the... Medina, however, do I want to go for Giga Drain here? I'm going to go for Giga Drain once and then see what he wants to do. Because I think a Volt Switch could be coming. I, I mean, I guess if I'm staying in, I might as well double knock, right? No, because if he stays in and flamethrowers, then I want damage off, but we'll see what he wants to do right here. If I were him, I would just flamethrower again, as that is exactly what he does. He doesn't crit me, which is great, so we're going to get some health back with this. And now we can switch out and gain a regenerator. So I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to make the Heat Train play right now. Free Volt Switch has been good play. Well, the Volt Switch has set me back quite a bit. I could go Lele too, but that's not the play. I'm going to go uh, uh, Heat Turn. I didn't check how much Spit F we have on it. Uh, we're very offensive. Okay, so max speed. Ideally, he just flamethrowers and gives me the attack. That would be great. He'll get a nice flash fire boost. Let's go for flamethrower, so we do get the flash fire, and uh, now we get to throw off. We can either go for rocks or magma. And you know, we can even tectonic the the Tyranitar if it ever wants to come out, so... I think Magma Storm's the play, but I don't want to miss. I'm just going to get up my rocks first. He could go hard Landorus. Okay, let's see what he puts. That sucks, but crit. Ideally, we connect this, though, and we'll be good to go. Definitely. Because uh, Flash Fire boosted Magma Storm put the, should put the Tran in range of a Ground Z attack. And if he goes Landorus, we'll knock that out. So ideally, we hit this, and we will be fine. That crit does suck though. He goes hard Tyranitar, so please hit. That would be great. We do connect. I'm um, surprised because nobody connects that attack. 
Uh, we'll see what his set is. Uh, here I'll just throw off the Tectonic Rage. Uh, he might expect the Flash Cannon and maybe make some play like Ferrothorn. That would be interesting. Or even Greninja. That would, that would get knocked out, I think, by Ground Z. He could even go back to Manetric if he's expecting Flash Cannon, but... Uh, we are max, so we definitely outspeed even Megatar. Pretty sure Megatar might be slower. Now, uh, regular Tar is 60, Megatar is 70, so we should knock this thing out right here. Yep, we do. So we don't have to deal with Tyranitar this match, and Tectonic Tyrant already doing work. Uh, this is an interesting play, though, because I don't have a switch into this. Since my Tanger with is so low. I'm just gonna stay in and Magma Storm. Goes for Water Shuriken, that's fine. I'm gonna bluff Scarf, and actually, you know what, uh, if he's locked into that, then we get an attack off here anyway. So I'm gonna go right here for the... Psychic. Ah, uh, no. This is hard, I'm gonna go for the Moonblast. I really want a Psychic just to get more damage off with the Psychic Terrain boosted attack, but... Well... If he, it's all whether or not he's locked in. If he's not locked in, then, you know what, I'm gonna go for Psychic. I think that's a play I can make at this point in the match. He does go Magirna, so I'm glad I clicked Psychic. This will do a good amount. And I can pretty much just stand here and spam it, since I do have my Metronome. He is, obviously, he is obviously getting, like... If we can get a Spidef drop, that would be big, but... He is obviously getting uh, Spidef juiced with the Sand up on his side. I think he is. Uh, yeah, because he is Steel-type, but... Do I wanna... I could go... Regenerator... I could go get some Regenerator health back right here if I really wanted. No, we're just going to click Psychic. So we do more that time, as you saw, and uh, he's going to go for the Flash Cannon. Totally fine, and I'm going to go here for the Moon Blast. Actually, Focus Blast is fine. That'll be the most. And if he wants to make some terrible play, like going back out into Grin, that would be totally fine. Alternatively, I can continue bluffing the Scarf. So I'm going to go Tangrowth. Because I need Tangrowth as healthy as possible, so I can go Tangrowth, switch out, and then we won't get swept by Greninja in late game, unless he flinches me down with Dark Pulse. And we even have uh, the Psychic Terrain up right now, to help with priority so my Landers can take a hit. So yeah, we eat. It's a spit F drop, but no way I'm staying in right here. I'm going to go here into my Greninja. Yep, uh, he has Assault Vest, clearly. I uh, don't know if I ever said that, but we can either go Landers, which I don't think is a play at all, or we can go Mawile. Yeah, I'm gonna go Greninja. We'll throw off some. Uh, we'll break through this thing. He goes for the HP Fire. So now I can either Dark Pulse or get up Spikes, or just Hydro Pump. I'm just gonna throw off a Hydro. If he has Thunderbolt or Flare Cannon, he'll go for that. He does have Flare Cannon, so that's going to knock me out. Doesn't this give Mawile setup though? So I'm going to go here for the Swords Dance. I know we don't take a hit from Askren, but did, did we get any damage off? We got 5% off. So Askren will knock me out, but we might even knock it out with plus 2 Sucker Punch. Mega Mawile is so strong. With the huge power boost and the plus 2, we might knock it out. I might have to Calca that. Well, actually, I think either way my play would be Sucker Punch if Grin comes out, because I don't have another choice. Well, actually, I do have another choice in case I'm predicting Water Shirt. Alright, so we saw that we went first, so Thunder Punch is safe right here. Uh, I'm not expecting... I could, if I really wanted to, I could go for Play Rough, but there's no point in risking that miss. Since this thing is already uh, dealt with by my Lele now, he can't switch it in anymore. And I'm just trying to win with my... I'm just trying to win with my landers, which means I have to get rid of the his opposing landers, because then I bring out my Lele to prevent priority and click Earthquake a few times. So yeah, I'm going to go for Thunder Punch right here, knock that thing out. One less thing my um, Lele has to deal with. Unfortunately, Lele is in a range of a lot of attacks right now, but our Tangrowth is healthy, which is very important at this point. So right here, he's going to be forced out into either Landers or Greninja. I mean, I guess he could go Ferrothorn if he has Gyro Ball. That's, all, that's always an option. But then after, I bring out Tangrowth to get some Regenerator, and I don't think he can touch Tangrowth, so I'll just spam Giga Drain. Tangrowth actually just kind of 1v1s this entire team right now. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to go for Sucker Punch. He does go for Water Shuriken, uh, and that just knocks me out anyway, so it didn't matter whether I went Click Player off right there.
we're gonna go Tangro. I know we can take anything, even a even an Ice Beam. And I'm expecting him to be locked in in the first place. So we go for Giga Drain right here. If he stays in, that would be amazing. Uh, if he switches out, I don't even know what he wants to bring that bring out. Uh, if he gets up two spikes, my Lele cannot take a hit. So I'm gonna have to go hard Lele if he goes out into Ferrothorn. He goes Landorus, which is the one thing that I need to weaken for my uh, own Landorus in the back. So we're gonna do some good damage to that. I'm gonna go for Giga Drain again. I don't know if what this thing can touch me with. And we did a good amount right there. Did we see lefties? No, we didn't. So if, we get, if he allows me to actually, do we have HP Ice? We got HP Ice, I'm gonna click that because this is the last thing in, in between my lander is sweeping. I guess I could use damage on Ferrothorn too. My Lele can do that. How healthy that is, my lander is stay at. It's pretty healthy, so that's good. And the important thing is making sure that I have enough Psychic Terrain turn. So yeah, HP Ice has to play right here. Does switch out, probably is gonna go into Ferrothorn, I guess. Or Gren. Gren would be a solid play on his part, because then you get to kill with Ice Beam, but if I Giga Drain right here, then Gren will just die. He makes a better play and goes fair up. So we'll see what set this is. Like I said, we go hard Lele right here on the Spike. Stealth Rock, okay. And now we click HP Fire. I need, well, do I run a Risk Focus Blast? Focus Blast to do the exact same amount. No, we're not risking it. We're gonna go for HP Fire. Goes for Gyre Ball, and uh, now I go Landorus. We are Choice Scarf, and I think I have to try to click... I think I have to make a prediction. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. We don't knock him out, which sucks. Okay, now I'm gonna go Tang Earth. No, my play is Earthquake every time. Switches out, so now I go... I think we lose this one. I think I had to make some more predictions right there. I had to go Tangerth on the Leech Seed, make sure he doesn't get any health back, but what, th what else can I lock myself into to win? I mean, at this point, I just lose to Gren. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in right here, because there's no point in keeping this. I'm just gonna bank on Tangerth, the 1v1ing the entire team. So yeah, he knocks that out, which isn't that big of a deal. My play is spam Giga Drain, and then knock off Ferrothorn until it dies. <laughs> Uh, Ferrothorn 1v1s me, I know that. And we can't deal with, uh, if it has Ice Beam Gren, then we can't deal with that either. He goes Manectric, which is fine, because that's going to give me a lot of health back. I just go for Giga Drain again. And then I think uh, the Tangroth comes in, and he got a burn, so yeah, it's over. I'm going to click X right there. And we're going to go ahead and find another one. So that match was definitely winnable had I clicked, uh, had I just played my match better. I had to get rid of that Landorus. This is another match, same thing, where Scarf Landorus can win. Still no Toxpex, which I want to see a Toxpex just so I can click Tectonic Rage against that thing. But let's go ahead and find a, a lead right here. Grand catches a lot, but I don't want to get uh, faked out into return by the Low Bunny. I could bluff Scarf with Lele. He actually just leads uh, Grand. I know we take a hit, so uh, my play right here is Psychic. On the Magirna switch, uh, I know I clicked Psychic, but like, that was pretty obvious. And we do see he has Assault Vest, so... I could go Tran. What do I want to do here? He could Volt switch out. I don't want to go Landorus, by any means. I don't want to stay in. I'm just going to go Tangrowth. I know this is risky, because this is my Greninja answer, but it, it's fine. Right here, he'll probably go... I'm just gonna go for Knock. Ideally, he doesn't go Low Bunny. That would be really random. He might, though, because Knock's pretty obvious. He goes Cortana, so we'll see what set this is. It's Z. So now, uh, the question is, what is Z? It's either gonna be All Out Pummelings, Corkscrew Crash, maybe sat Shattered Psyche, considering the... Well, I guess it's my terrain, so it's probably not Shattered Psyche. He's going to go for either Corkscrew Crash or All Out Pummeling. Mawile is still good. Heatran switches into Magirna. We already saw it's Assault Vest, but I'm going to go Heatran. Ideally, uh, this is... Well, he's SD, so I'm going to go right here for the Tectonic Rage. Goes for Sacred Sword. So now we go Gren. 
And we hope, well, actually, we, we can't miss Dark Pulse. And actually, he doesn't have the best Dark Pulse switch in at all right now. Salt Vest Magirna would be his answer. I would just click Hydro Pump, but if we don't connect, then we lose. And I know he was going Magirna, but that's not a play I'm willing to make at all. So right here, I'm going to go back to Tangrowth. He's probably going to Volt Switch out right now. I'm going to go Landris. Not expecting an Ice Beam or a Flare Cannon. Maybe Flash Cannon, but I'm going to go Tangrowth. I don't think we can risk Landris at all. It goes hard Cortana. I'm gonna stay on an HP Ice. That's not doing anything. We get damage off. And now I'm going to switch out into Lele. Uh, I don't know what Z move he is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on HP Ice. Can we roll? Oh, we got the roll. <laughs> 41 into 44. Oh, that's, that's pretty neat. We knock that thing out. Runes out low punny. He's gonna high jump kick here, I guess. He's gonna fake out. Go for Encore. I don't know what that play was. But now we get to throw off a free Psychic. Or Moonglass. Moonglass is probably better. We're slowly chipping away at this Magirna, which is great for my Greninja on the back. We even get a special attack drop, and now we just go Tangrowth again. And honestly, he doesn't have a good Tangrowth switch in. He goes for the Volt switch. What did I have in? Yeah, I had Lele in. So he brings out Lopunny. I'm gonna go for. Actually, there's no point in staying in. I really hope he doesn't go for the Dark Pulse flinch, that would be kind of lame. I'm gonna go for Moonblast. He does switch out, which is uh, good for me. We get a crit, no spit after off, which is, you know, fine. I'll go Tango with right here on the Flare Cannon. And I'll just spam Giga Drain. We, got, we, did, we didn't have speed last time, did we? I hope we don't, because I had a knocked right there. I mean, it's fine. So don't I just knock? No, I don't want to lose to Grand, so I can't knock right here. Hmm. This is interesting, because Lele is free. Lele is free, actually. I'm going to go Lele. Are we max? We are, we are not. And he's just going to forfeit, yeah. So uh, apparently he was not Scarf Lander, so else he would have tried to go for a quick right there. But we pick up a win, which is great, because uh, that makes up for our previous loss. And let's go ahead and find another match. Oh. Okay, this is going to be fun. It does have Tox Effects, I'm pretty happy about that, but other than that, not much to say here. Mawile 6 0s him, except for Landris. <laughs> I think I have to try to get up rocks. The thing is, you can just stay in regular and try to will, try to will this me. I think I'm going to lead Tran. He does lead Sableye, which is great because I can Magma Storm you. He will find out that I'm Z. We do a good amount. He goes for Knock. He finds out that we're Z. Do we just go for Z now? He's trapped in. Let's see, Magma Storm goes to this, Z goes to 175. We'll knock him out with Z. Do I want to preserve it? No, I think we can break through Pexodon in a while. I'm going to go for Tectonic Rage now. Uh, he can, he's not trapped, obviously, because he's a ghost type, but uh, I, I figured it was worth it. So we can talk this. Go for Seismic Toss, and uh, I will go for Magma Storm again, predicting... He gave me rocks right there. Yeah, I'm gonna go for rocks now. He did... Yeah, okay, he did give me rocks, which is exactly what I wanted, so... No complaints right here, and uh, now I have to figure out what I want to go into next, which is definitely my Mawile. And I'm just going to Mega Evolve and Play Rough. Play, play Rough just nabs one. I mean, Landorus can come out, take the hit, but then I just go my own Landorus, pretty much nothing. This is going to be an annoying match, but uh, Mawile pretty much 6 0s. I think we knock him out here. If we don't, then we take unnecessary Seismic Tox damage. That would be unfortunate. So he goes out into this. Thunder Punch should knock him out. Do I want to SD? I'm going to go for Thunder Punch. We don't knock him out, but he roosted, which means we can Thunder Punch again right here. He could go Mawile. You know what, I'm, I'm going to wait a bit just to run timer, and then I'm hoping he debates staying in and we can just knock him out, because I don't want to I don't want to be so obvious. He goes Clef, which we do a ton to and paralyze. So I could have clicked Swords Dance two times right there, and just one, but it's fine. I'll go for Player Off. Mawile completely rips through stall, I just realized that. 
So player off is the player right, player off is the play. Yeah, unintended. So now he's forced out into Landorus. So I'm gonna go out into my... Not, that was not the Mon. <laughs> Alright, great. I'm gonna go for Shuriken. Okay, I'm just gonna... He can't risk this. I don't think he can risk this, so... I'm just gonna get up a spike, maybe. I'm gonna Hydra. On the Pex, which is totally fine. I don't want to go Mawile. I'm instead gonna go... Problem is, he gets Toxic right now. I should have Dark Pulsed. Dark Pulse is a better play, because we could have it hit everything. He's gonna recover, definitely. I'm gonna go Landorus on a Scald. That, that was not a good play. He should have recovered right there, but... I'm not complaining, I'll go right here for the U-turn. On his own. And now I can either go Lele. I don't know what lander he is. Did I ever hit this Lando? I hit it with something, right? It's definitely not Z. I'm gonna go back to Grand. And this time I'm going to Dark Pulse. And if he's Scarf, then I just get Free Landorus again, so it's fine. Goes back to Pex, which is totally alright. We'll do a lot. And now I'm gonna double into Mawile. I have to make these plays because we're facing Stall. Do I have to? Because Landorus is gonna be in range of Sucker Punch the next time it comes out. I think Lele is a better play right now. Out into Chansey. Uh, that's annoying. Do I go for a game with Mawile right now? I don't want to take an S-Toss for no reason. I'm going to go Tangrowth. And then, do I want to throw off a knockoff? I'm going to go for knockoff. As we get rid of that Eviolite, which is great, because now uh, we are ahead. I went for Toxic. Honestly, if I spam Giga Drain, we would probably 1v1, considering this amazing HP stat, but... Let's go Mawile. On the Toxic, and I think we just SD up and win right here. Go Skarm, I'm gonna Thunder Punch. I'm gonna Sucker Punch. You definitely knock him out. No matter what he brings out, he cannot handle me. Knock that thing out, and now I think we just win. Assuming we. Yeah, we definitely just won with this. My wall completely blows back stall. This will die to Thunder Punch. Get out of there. And, uh, yeah, he's, he, he just lost because uh, Mawile's a beast. <laughs> Look at that, 1016 attack. I love that. I don't know why he's trying. He should just forfeit and move on. We knock that thing out. We're gonna knock this thing out. And Chansey's gonna come out. We're gonna player off it, and we knock that thing out. So, yep, Mawile. I knew Mawile was a win con. I think we played it pretty well, not switching it in. And we walked away with a win right there. So let's go ahead and find one, uh, not one more. We're gonna find a couple more because it's probably been 15 minutes, somewhere around there. So yeah, we'll see what we can do, Swaggly. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go ahead and see, I think Grimau Landorus easily wins this, actually. I'm hoping it's not Scarf Grengar or Water Shuriken Gren. This is actually a pretty hard matchup, I'm not gonna lie. Zygarde's kind of a problem. And I don't like how we're modest, because we don't outspeed that or Landorus. However, um, Tran does a ton of work. I, he might lead off with the Gran. Tran does well against this half, and then just loses to this half. I have a Zygarde. I don't really have a Zygarde switch. <laughs> we have a Gran and Gengar switch. Nope, we don't have a Gengar switch either. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and lead off with Landorus and see if we can nab one. Leads off with the uh, this. I'm just going to stay in an Earthquake. Knock him out. Cool. Uh, he disables us, but I was going to switch out the next turn anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't gonna switch out against this, but, like, don't have this going on in my while. On Stealth Rock, cool. And I'm going to... SD right here. Now I'm going to SD, a do I Mega Evolve an SD right here? I'm going to Mega Evolve in Hesty. Ah, oh, that sucks. I should have thought this through. I'm gonna go out and I'm just gonna attempt to break through. I don't know what his set is. I don't know what anything is. Alright. 
Break through and sucker punch. One. I never get first turn wakes. Can we do it here? Nope. Do it again. I mean, yeah, do it. Actually, don't we guaranteed wake right here? E speed knocks me out. I should have thought that. I should have just played off that. I don't know what I was doing. That's gonna. That might cost me the match a little bit. But Layla can come out right here. I didn't even figure out what to set the Tingle with those. That's the, that's pretty much the worst part. We go for Psychic on the Medina. I'm just gonna stay in because like we have the Spit drop and we have the Metronome boosts going for us. Matt expects me to be Scarf actually. He goes out into he goes for the Volt Switch. Now he'll probably go Grand, but we just got a ton of damage off. So Tango is my play every time. He shouldn't go for Ice Beam because uh, goes for Gunk Shot and misses. Cool. I'll take it, and uh, we're just gonna go for the. I'm gonna go with the Landorus play right here. I'm just gonna knock. Do I need this for anything else? I don't really. Oh, we don't. So yep, we knock off the Scarf. I, I was gonna go Tran, but it's whatever. And he's gonna go for U-turn right here. I'm just gonna let him knock me out because we'll get the Switch Initiative. I'll probably go Zygarde, because even if I go Grand to counter that, he'll have a Switch Switch into Tango. Jeez, if I just play her off the Tango, we would be so far ahead right now. Who can next Sleep Powder? <laughs> he goes hard Tango. That's an interesting option. I think this play's perfectly fine, though. We're going to... I can even get up a rocks right now if I really want to. I'm gonna do that. No, we're gonna have Magma. I don't want Zygarde doing anything funny. Like Dragon dancing up and winning is what I mean by funny. We do have Shuriken, so that's always a failsafe. We would also have Intimidate on our Landorus. I'm just gonna Magma right here. Grand's a big threat though. He's opposing Grand. Not, I mean, mine's a big threat too. And we just knock him out. So he was clearly defensive. But I mean, my plus two player, I probably knocked him out anyway. So he goes out into this. I'm just going to go hard. He's going to Tectonic Rage. Yeah, we get that right. Now we go Landers on. Oh, well, he's going to Thousand Arrows me. Do we not come out with. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut. The, I'm gonna have to blacken the screen right here because I just showed my desktop screensaver. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys probably just got a black screen, but let's go ahead and check out what our Greninja is doing to this on right here. So that's not the set. And we're just going to change it to specs. So specs. And then we're going to make it... I believe we're timid, but we have to make it battle bond. Specs battle bond with max special attack to Zygarde. So we'll use that. Water Shuriken is doing... Not enough. That's unfortunate. I think my play is in Magma Storm. It's gonna knock me out, but now we go Landorus and live one at the very least. Actually, we, this might kind of just win, right? Let's go for Earthquake. Well, Gran, but other than that, kind of. Well, actually, we knocked off the Scarf on Gran. So yeah, this set might just win right now. Especially if we're faster. Not sure how much speed he has on this, but if we're, if we're maxed Jolly, right? Yeah, we're max Jolly, so if he's not max, then yeah, we knock him out, and I think we just win the match with this. Because Gren will get knocked out. I believe we knocked it off earlier, too, so it took some chip. You won't... Uh, that's actually kind of scary. I'm just going to stay in. I don't care. Goes for Sucker Punch. I mean... Fine. I'm going to go Lele. Because either way, I go Gren after. Just nab a kill. I think he has to make a prediction right here. He goes hard Lele. I mean, you know, just fine. I'll go for... I'll go for the Moonblast. Knocks me out. Alright, we're gonna go Greninja. And we are going to throw off a... 
header pump. We cannot water shuriken because this is for specs. So hopefully we connect all of these. If not, then we just lose, which would suck. There's one. He can't sucker punch me, actually. I just remembered that. I mean, if we aren't turning extender, this will get knocked out. Yeah, bye. And uh, he can't sucker punch this, so, well, actually, it's gonna come down to if we connect right here. Just gonna click that, yeah. So we uh, knock that thing out and pick up a win. I don't think it's been long enough yet. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and get another one. I think it's been like 20 minutes. I should probably keep track of the time when I record these, but it's all right. I'll estimate. Mirage 5000, I like that name. All right. Let's start the timer and go ahead and lead off with our... Landorus actually does a ton of work. It counters the Drill, the Naguna, and Titar if it doesn't have Ice Punch. But our win con is definitely Mawile, so I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with my Tran. I have no idea what Victini wants to do. He might just lead off with it and try to get a kill. Actually, now that, now that I see that, uh, Landorus might not be a bad lead. Because uh, if he leads off with something like this, I'm just going to U-turn. He's going to go Zapdos. He should not stay in right here. Alright, I guess he does. So Trans are play on an Ice Beam. We would have Earthquake right there and just knocked him out. I, I actually doubt we did, but it's fine. So now he's going to go turn T-Tar. Is there any reason for me to not? I'm just going to Magma Storm. Because it catches the Venusaur. This will take a bit. Now we go for the Tectonic Rage. I'm hoping he goes hard T-Tar right here. This won't knock me out if it's Giga Volt. Oh, celebrate. He should die. This should knock you out. I want to see this animation, and it just goes down, yeah. So not sure what his plan was with that. Could uh, Tectonic Trend coming in uh, to be useful again. Probably, like, that's not a set. That's probably what is going through his mind right now. <laughs> Which is pretty funny, but I'm glad that got to work. It's on a balloon. Probably has a lot of speed too. I'm gonna go Lando on the Earthquake and then I'm just going to throw off the U turn. If he stays in, it's not a big deal. I could try to go Mawile right here, but I don't think that's worth it. I'm just gonna go Lele. It's not really a good play right here. That doesn't give like T Tar free switching. I think Lele is fine. And I'm just going to uh, Moonblast. The important part is, as long as we can connect a Focus Blast on the Drill, he can't set up in front of this. Goes out into Magirna. I value this mana a lot, so I'm gonna go Tango. And now he's gonna go Venusaur, I think. No, you know, I'm gonna knock off this, uh, do we have speed? We would, if he's a Min, then we knock it, then we have speed, I guess. Is that a speed creep? Do we, is that what the speed is for? No, we're minus, but if he's a min, then we might have speed. I'm just gonna go for. Just gonna go for knockoff. He gets, he gets up the other screen. We knock, we knock off the light clear a little bit too late. Now he's gonna go out into the uh, Tyranitar, which is unfortunate. I think Tran's a fine play. That catches this too, and I can get up a rock right here actually. I don't care if he has Earthquake or something. We could taunt. No, I'm gonna get up rocks. I don't know if he can defog his own screens away. I don't know if that's how it works. I barely play screens. He goes for the sleep powder. Kinda sucks because I wanted this mod, but it's fine. Uh, I think this we have to go for we have to go for game with Mawile like soon, cause or else Sand Rush's drill is gonna sweep me. The good thing is I don't I don't think these screens are gonna go back up. Should go for Sludge Bond. Right when these screens go down, I'm going to try to go for game. Till then, though, I don't want to go that. What do I not need? It's pretty much the question. I could just stay in. That was hard tower in a tower. That's the play that I was scared of. I'm going to go mine. I'm going to go for Magma Storm. It should knock me out. Don't go drill. Goes for Stone Edge. I'm going to go for Earth Power now, because it catches everything. You know, this team could actually use like a healing wish user, that would be pretty cool. But screens are nearly gone, and I don't want him going out of Toman that can get them, that can get them back up, so. 
He's, he's gonna win now. I don't know how much he's doing with... Is that Earth Power? No, he used Stone Edge. He's probably Banded. That looks like Banded damage. If he's Banded, then I'm going hard uh, Mola. He's Tyranitar. Uber Choice Band, I guess. Same thing, yeah. And... Heatran. Oh, you Trapper Stone Edge? It wouldn't do that much. 73 to 86. He did more than that, right? Yep, he's Banded. So we got it to this, and I think we just win. Well, I mean, Reflect is the one that has two turns left, which is unfortunate. It actually, it almost makes me not want to go for... I want to go for Play Rough. You knock him out. Sandstorm only has one turn left. I don't know whether it's Smooth Rock or what's going on, but... The Drill cannot win because of my landers in the back. And I don't think Magirna can get up screens on this either, because I'll just set up. Uh, you should get knocked out. No, he has the Reflecto. So yeah, it's not worth staying in at all. Lele is not a bad play, but it pretty much gets kills every time it comes out now, so I don't think Gren's winning due to the fact that Venus is right there. He goes for Heat Wave, which is fine. So I'm just going to go for the... I could just start to get up Spikes. Could just throw off a Hydro I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse, because Venus is should be his immediate response. As it is, so we could we could just go for the flinch. I mean, I'll do it. I don't need this mod at all. And I just don't want anything coming out for free. Do we get the flinch? Well, that works too. Now we just go for a Dark Pulse. And the sand's gone, so Drill cannot win. So we knock that thing out. We got our Battle Bond too, which is amazing. Because now we can try to sweep with Hydro Pump. It's not Assault plus Magirna, it's a oh wait, it was Light Clay, so it's, it might not be Shift Gear. Pretty much that's all I'm scared of now, Shift Gear Magirna. So, with that in mind. Well, we saw Ice Beam at the, all the way at the beginning, right? Yep, so uh, his only coverage is Ice Beam if he is Shift Gear. But I would guess he's Ice Beam Thunderbolt. Bolt Beam seems like it makes sense. I'm gonna go with Malaf. I'm gonna Flare Cannon Dodge. So now we Surge Dance up right here. And I think we just win. Not sure what Zapdos he's running. Goes for the Reflect. I'm just gonna SD up again, I don't care. If that's what you wanna do, that's fine. Not sure if this is like a substitute, I'm just gonna go for Sucker. If you're sub, then you know, you got me, I guess. But he should be four attacks or like SD. Ooh. All right, that's fine. The Zapdos never roosted, right? I think it's in range of everything. So I'm just gonna go for Shuriken. Magirna might not, it's not gonna faint. So now Landris is my play, I think. No, it's not, definitely not. <laughs> Layla is fine. Goes for Ice Beam, trying to catch my Landers. Choke, but nope. Psychic's fine right here. Goes for Floor Cannon, I'll Psychic again. Because with the Metronome, we it's not even a roll now. So we Psychic right there, knock that out, and then Zapdos is going to come out. If it's not max speed, then we will outspeed it. Well, I guess it could be max speed modest, but either way, he can't, like, like get up a roost or anything. And he's not, so uh, that's uh, gonna be another win with this team, which is great. We're getting off back some points. I think we're, what, like 3-1 and one with this team now? Which is great. We're gonna go ahead and start timer, and I think this will be our last one for the live. It probably is around 30 minutes soon. Maybe. I might go for one more after this. I don't know how long it's been. <laughs> I could check and just, like, come back. That's something I do occasionally, but uh, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and find out a leader right here. Landers is a fine lead. Can you turn out on Rotom, which is likely to come in? If he leads with this, then I will definitely U turn. I think we live a Shuriken too. And actually, no, there's no point in staying in right here. Tangrowth is the play, because if he Scarf himself, then that's fine. He goes for Spikes. So Earthquake would have been a good play right there. 
We'll give you a drain right here. We do have Scarf Defog on our Landorus if we really need it, in case these spikes become a problem. It was mobile. We got a Giga Drain off, which is cool. Let's be chip that thing down quite a bit. Now I'm gonna go Lele on this, which is fine, because we got a Psychic off here. I don't even need Lele that much. I mean, I guess it, it actually does work. But it's a dice to build Cephalon, so this one's staying in Psychic. That was a bad play, though. I think if I Moonblast it, I'm just gonna Moonblast now. Well, he's gonna change type, isn't he? Yeah, he doesn't have Dark Pulse. So he's Psychic. Do I think he's... Did he... Do I think he's Scarf? I'm gonna go Landorus, expecting the Scarf. Well, either way, he's gonna get up two spikes, right? Because, uh... No, because I go Landorus, he's on, on another spike. I defog on one spike. I have to switch out on two spikes. Yeah, there's no point in staying, switching out. Especially, uh... Well, never mind. That was not the plan, but... Uh, I'm glad I didn't go Landorus. <laughs> so this sucks. I know he's gonna. Go, I, mean, I know he's gonna be that guy who goes for Spike now. I just, he just knocks me. Okay, well we broke through and knocked that thing out. So now we don't even have to deal with the next Spike. It would have been nice to not have my Lele take that much damage though. So he's gonna try to Beast Boost sweep me. Not happening. Uh, I don't even know what move he wants to go for. I mean, Water Shuriken's the safest bet in case we, this doesn't go well. Do I want to keep Tran right now? I think Tran's fine. Goes for Shadow Ball, so I guess Tangrowth goes to play right there. Maybe he'll Laurel. Who knows? No, he doesn't Laurel. So now we go Gran. And we just go for Shuriken. I don't care if he stays, switches out into like Tangrowth. I can't make any other play right now. Yeah, so now we go... I'm just gonna sack Lele right here. Actually, Lele can put up the terrain if I defog. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Landorus to defog first. Because that'll also help out my Gren late game. It'll help out everything. Uh, I just have to make sure that I'm not set up on by anything if I do go Landorus right now. Hopefully I need to not see an HP Ice. What's for knockoff? That's probably better for me. Because <laughs> now I can defog and not get locked in. Yeah, get rid of these spikes real quick. That should also help my Tangrowth counter his Rotom. Because I don't want to take like two big hits. So yeah, get rid of those. And. Hmm. Listen to HP Ice because this doesn't really do anything else. If he goes for Stealth Rock, I'm going to Defog now. I don't want Rocks up, no matter what. Now we're going to U-Turn. That was the best case right there, because uh, we got damage on the Landorus, and we uh, got a U-Turn out, and we got damage on Rotom. So Tangrowth to my play. On a Volt Switch, fine play. Let's probably bait out the Mawile now. But what I can do is I can go Lele, set up the terrain, and then go Landorus, and then he won't be able to... I think she goes Blacephalon. We might live a hit. I know, uh, he's probably a Scarf. Hang on. For Assault Vest. And this is Scarf Blacephalon. Just give him some special attack here and give him a Fire Blast. There's a lot still. Do I want to risk anything? Honestly worth it. Especially if he's gonna miss like that and he doesn't knock him out. That's always fun. Makes up for that freeze. My Lele would still be super healthy right now. Definitely helps out against that freeze that happened earlier. Goes Mawile. Uh, this is where I go Lele. Make sure that he can't sweep me with this. Now we go Landorus. And we go right for the Earthquake. He's gonna switch out. See, I'm gonna go for U turn because even if he doesn't switch out, my Mawile is a safe bet. He does switch out, so now I go Greninja. Now I go for the Dark Pulse. Is that a fine play? I could even start getting my own spikes. Goes out into this. Do I 
want to go out onto my own tank or do I want to... I'm going to go for the flinch. Nah, I don't think flinching's the play. Because uh, this lives a hit from Mawa right now. I'm going to go Mawa. I'm going to knock off. So glad I didn't go anything else because you would have knocked off my Assault Fist or my... Well, he already knocked that off, but... Now, uh, I think I SD up here and try to go for the game because... Second train is going up, going going down this turn, so we SD up and we can sucker punch this thing now. Sucker punch will knock him out. He can't go his own Mawal to intimidate me since it is already mega evolved, which is great to keep in mind. Uh, we don't knock him out actually. Wow, that's disappointing. Mawal's a lot. I thought Mawal was stronger. I mean, I'll go. I'll go this one now, and just U-turn? I doubt U-turn does it. Let's see, HP Ice. U-turn does do it, I'm just gonna go for it. Because we are offensive lander, so who knows, maybe it will. Scarf against, uh, I think he's might be offensive landers too. We're gonna give him defensive. So if he's that, then we don't, we don't do it. He's like Flinium. U-turn will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the U-turn. Yep, we do do it, so, you know, good. Now we're gonna go Tangrowth. Oh wait, nope, that was bad. <laughs> because Mawal comes out and it gets to have fun. No, okay, so I think we have to go Landorus right here. No, he's gonna play off first. No, you know what, he's gonna go for the Swords Dance. Ah, this is a 50-50, because I want to stand in Giga Drain on a player off, but if I go Landorus on a player off, then I don't take a Sucker Punch. But then I get to go Greninja after, which is still a loss, because he has Tango to counter. I have to get this play right. I'm going to Giga Drain. He does, get, he does go for player off, we do live it, which is great. Now I'm going to go Landorus. No, is that still... I don't, still don't think that's the play. No, it is, because Landers can take up Sucker Punch at... Actually, that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, um, Giga Drain again. That was pretty bad for him. Goes for that again. Now we go out up to this mom. And I think we just Earthquake. No matter what he does. Yeah, there's no Earthquake. Goes for Sucker Punch. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to flinch stuff to death to win this one. At least that's how it's looking. So he went out to, he went out to this because he wants to try to... Giga Drain help back. So, you turn... I think I just HP Ice. Doesn't do anything. Okay, Earthquake's probably doing more then. <laughs> just funny. And then we go out into our Greninja right here, and we try to see if we can flinch over and over and over again. <laughs> Which I don't, I'm not thinking will happen. We might live one hit from Rotom, but uh, it's a shame that we got put in this situation. He knocked us out. So yeah, that's going to be uh, the live. We went three and two, so we got we went up game positive, which is great for our point total. But yeah, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed the live. Once again, be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below. It really helped me reach my 2018 goal. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Later.